Yo, yo, what is up, guys? It's the product designer, Jimmy, here, and we're back with Cal State Long Beach skills and what they taught us. So we're in year two, and it's spring. Let's get right into it. So 232B, this is going to be the final drawing class. For 254, this is going to be the last specific model making class. This class, they're teaching us how to use stuff like laser cutting, utilize it for our prototyping needs, and then to learn how to use SolidWorks in a way where you're able to 3D print them. And 368, I'm not going to really go over. This is the elective class where I think it was like design history. Not really anything to show you guys. So let's get right into it 232b so this class here we are expected to be pretty proficient when it comes to sketching and now they are really trying to make us learn how to use photoshop being able to utilize it and create these very nice quick renderings at the same time we should also be able to design and sketch at the same time something that not a lot of people can do very nice sketches that you guys see in people's portfolios and online most of the times those sketches are re-sketches sketch it's supposed to be able to allow you to explore the different forms and the different design direction. And if your mind is truly focused on that 100% trying to figure out what this product can be, you're not really focusing too much on making the sketch nice. So it's pretty rare to see the actual design sketches in a designer's portfolio just because they want to create a nice looking portfolio. If you guys really want to learn how to sketch better, there's only really one way to do that. And that is just to put in the practice. So for the very first product, Project, what they had us do was apply branding onto a product that that brand doesn't typically produce. What I ended up selecting was the Puma brand, that's the sports athletic clothing brand, and a sports motorcycle. I didn't really save any sketches, but this is what I ended up with. A lot of it was focused on designing this, but I remember spending most of the time trying to get this rendering looking really nice. Another project they had us do was this Oakley project where we had a representative come in and run this project with our professor. What she wanted us to do was design their snowboarding line, which was a helmet, some goggles, and boots. So again, similar to the motorcycle, just final renderings here. I don't think I really saved any of my sketches. Here we have my boot. Uh, I remember just having this double layer type of theme, being able to have carbon fiber panels to be able to protect your foot while also being very light at the same time time. And here are my goggles. I think the biggest thing about this one was this nose part. I wanted so that the bridge of the nose would be covered and protected to prevent being broken. Snowboarding is actually a pretty dangerous sport. And here is my helmet trying to stick with this carbon fiber theme with the boots uh, making it nice and sleek. The major thing about this class is really to be able to hone in our technical skills when it comes to Photoshop and being able to produce these types of renderings. As you guys can see, you guys probably noticed the difference between a key shot rendering and renderings like these. These renderings are a lot more loose and more conceptual, while a key shot rendering seems a bit more finished and realistic. So for this project, I was able to get my hands on all of my classmates projects, replicate a product, change it up a little bit, but design wasn't the major thing. It was to be able to produce a good looking Photoshop rendering. They allowed you to pick any type of gloves you wanted. I ended up making boxing gloves. So essentially the technique they taught us was you use an underlay image first, meaning that you don't start off with scratch. You start off with either like an underlay of a car if you're going to be doing a car and this allows you to get the proportions right and not make it all funky looking so most of your brain power is trying to design the thing changing it up so using that underlay technique it's really big when it comes to designing a shoe you can easily make a shoe look funky change up the proportions the toe box might be a little bit long but if you use an underlay it really helps allow you to get all of the proportions looking right. The hardest thing though when using this technique is to not get too heavily influenced with your underlay image. So make sure that underlay image is a good one. And here I ended up doing a crazy 300 sword. All right, I'll show you guys some of my other classmates projects.
for 254 this is going to be the very last model making class this is the class that precedes that other one where i showed you guys the electric knife and the electric razor so the difference about this class is that they are teaching us how to prototype now the different type of techniques we can use to create these prototypes such as laser cutting and using solidworks to not only create renderings like i showed you guys but also to create this 3d file where we can have our designs printed so for this class there's really only one major project and the idea is we're supposed to choose three different mechanisms these mechanisms can be stuff like rack and pinion telescoping linkages the idea is that if you look at products out there on the market, they have these moving parts. So what we wanna do is instead of just learn how to design things, also having to learn how to create these mechanical movements. It's gonna be another skill that they're gonna have us do later into the other classes. You guys will see in the next video. So for this class, I wanted to design a car. I ended up selecting the FJ Cruiser. And I'll walk you guys through the whole process. They make us do a process book, so this is gonna be nice and easy. So here we go, this is my FJ Cruiser process process book. So this here is the SolidWorks and this is going to be some of the other vehicles that I did consider. So the target user for this toy is going to be a children's three and above, FJ Cruiser owners and people that just really love collecting these scale model cars. A couple of different sketches I did just for fun. Here are the mechanisms that I ended up utilizing for this model toy. It utilizes one of these momentum engines where you kind of just charge it up and it spins this weight and utilizing all of these gear ratios that allows for the wheels to keep spinning and spinning. The FJ Cruiser, I also had functional lights in there, um, playing around a little bit with electronics and LEDs. I also put in a pull-out winch, so it has front wheel suspension, and also the front wheels are able to steer utilizing the spare wheel in the back. Rendering specifically for visuals could kind of overlook some of the mechanical aspects, but when you're going to be printing this, you have to really consider the mechanical aspects and making sure everything fits and the right tolerances. Quick color study, I ended up going with this dark green color. So this here is the very first prototype, just me kind of messing around, being able to figure out and study all of these mechanisms, being able to have it work. You guys can see here the rear wheel is uh, connected all the way to the front wheels. Also right here I have the suspension for the two front wheels. So this is what it looks like before it's all painted, printed at Shapeways and the rear tail lights. This was a really fun class, probably one of the most fun class. The skills that we learn in this class is definitely one of the more important skills that they teach us at Cal State Long Beach. All right, guys, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that my videos come right to you. Also, if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about, please leave it in the comment down below. If there's any other industrial designers that you guys think that would enjoy and benefit from these videos, definitely share these with them. All right, guys, it's Jimmy, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.